Um, so that you can comprehend what their plan is. The deal is, Rome has a plan, and we have a plan. They're carrying out their plan. Our problem is, is that our people are not aware, and so they have very little energy to counter the plan that's against them, because they don't know there's a plan against them. And so when people don't know there's a plan against them, logically, they're preoccupied with other things. Because they think, I mean, they're preoccupied trying to solve their problem with, with what you call foundations of illusion. Are we clear? And this is where, brother, it was important to use the demonstration where you put the silver physically in your hand. So that you, even though intellectually you, you comprehend that, because sometimes, like Sister Sandra said, you have to use mass or a symbol, or a symbol of a physical thing yes. to get people to comprehend that which is abstract. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's some, that's called using mass as, as, as for points of comprehension. All right, now, I'm going to read a, a paragraph from uh, Executive Order 11490, Infiltration of Organization Under Surveillance. This is what's in operation at all times. Are we clear? Now, when Sis was saying baby was pure, we want to make sure that's like maintains real. And it's not, a, 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 um, how do you say, truth is not always beautiful, but it can save your life. Yes. yes. All right? Now, infiltrated organizations under surveillance. Number one, the black Muslims. Number two, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC. Three, Congress of Racial Equality. Four, Uhuru Movement. Five, Group on Advanced Leadership, Goal. Six, Freedom Now Party. FNP, seven United Black Nationalists of America, UBNA, eight, the New Pan African Movement, TN Pan, ten, the National Urban League, NUL, eleven, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, twelve, the Committee on Religious on uh, Racial and Religious Progress, CORAP, and you already know. That we're on that list too. So even though they didn't put it there, anybody, anybody that stands for truth will be on this list. You, you understand? Anywhere you go, you're already on surveillance, so don't even think you're hiding. You understand? But this is this meaning that what they expose is always not half. All right. Now, note all at the appropriate time to be designated by the president, the leaders of some of these organizations are to be detained only when it is clear that they cannot prevent the emergency. Yeah. Working with local public officials during the first critical hours, all other leaders are to be detained at once. Compiled list of minority leaders have been readied at the National Data Computer Center. It is necessary to use the minority leaders designated by the president in much the same manner in which we use minority members who are agents with central and federal. And we cannot, until there is no alternative, reveal King Alfred in all his aspects. Minority members of Congress will be unseated at once. This move is not without precedent in American history. The Attorney General of the United States. <clears throat> Preliminary memo, the Department of Defense. This memo is being submitted in lieu of a full report from the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That report is now in preparation, and there will be many cities where the minority will be able to put into the street a superior number of people with a desperate and dangerous will. He will be a formidable enemy, for he is bound to the continent by heritage and knows that political asylum will not be available to him in other countries. The greatest concentration of the minority is in the deep south, the eastern seaboard, the Great Lakes region, and the west coast. So as you can see, even by the political document of the Executive Order 11490, which is a military document, they're admitting that these people are indigenous. And as you already know, the black leaders have told you the great so-called black diaspora that you were brought from someplace else. So you see how the contrary, 
how the rulers have one knowledge about these people mm -hmm. and what their so-called marching leaders are actually teaching them is false information, mm -hmm. making them think that they came from someplace else. What occurs is that in the mind it disinherits you from the land and it makes you incompetent to claim the estate because you think you came from someplace else. This is what necessitates them privatizing the prison system because they need to house these heirs and figure out how to start killing them all. But they need to concentrate them. So the prisons are concentration camps. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Now, let's go to zero report. <coughs> I'm, I'm bypassing some information here, but I'm going to go to zero report so you can understand the issue of, of, of creditor, debtor. Keep that in mind while I'm reading this. Minority troops are to be divided and detained along with all other white sympathizers under guard. That's the third hour. We're talking critical hours of what you call countdown. Are we clear? So I'm reading past the first, the, the first um, second of the eights. Um, number nine. Eight, all minority leaders and national and local are detained. So everybody that's um, been trying to get you all wake up, when they come get us, you already know what's happening. All right? That's the second hour. We're coming down from then, 10 down on. Um, this is 10. Oh, eight, nine, pardon me. The president addresses the minority on radio and television and gives it one hour to end the emergency. That's the first. And this is zero hour. All units under under regional commands are called into the emergency. That means they're going to turn the army, the navy, marines, national guard, public officials, and the police on the people. Zero committee report. Secretary of Defense. Survey shows that during a six-year period. Production created 9 million objects, or 1,500,000 each year. Objects is really deep. Production could not dispose of the con containers, which proved a bottleneck. This is based on their study of what they did to some other people that were calling themselves what they were not during the Second World War. This is science that was done on examining that so when they do it again, they won't have the bottleneck. However, that was almost 20 years ago. Keep in mind this executive order is 1969. They're talking about the Second World War with some other people that was claiming to be somebody that they're not. We suggest that vaporization techniques be used or employed to overcome the production problems inherent in King Alfred. Secretary of Defense. They're talking about mass genocide using vaporization. Are we clear? So while our people may think that this information has nothing to do with them because they're in their belief systems, Rome is going to do what they're going to do whether these people wake up or not. But their major concern is that you do wake up. So let's read, let's read their security page. All right? So let's read security page. Oh, King Alfred. <coughs> so that you can get a concept of how they're viewing this. Security page will be page three. And remember, because this is redacted material, the pages are not sequential. Are we clear? Security. It is patently impossible to discuss social engineering or the automation of a society, i.e., the engineering of social automation systems, quote unquote, silent weapons, on a national or worldwide scale without implying extensive objectives of social control and destruction of human life, i.e. slavery and genocide. This material is in itself an analog declaration of intent. Such a writing must be secured from public scrutiny. Otherwise, it might be recognized as a technically formal declaration of domestic war. Furthermore, whenever any person or group of person in a position of great power and without the full knowledge and consent of the public uses such knowledge and methodology for economic conquest, 
it must be understood that a state of domestic warfare exists between said person or group of persons and the public. The solution of today's problems require an approach which is ruthlessly candid, with no agonizing over religious, moral, or cultural values. And you have qualified for this project because of your ability to look at human society with cold objectivity and yet analyze and discuss your observations and conclusions with others of similar intellectual capacity without a loss of discretion or humility. Such virtues are exercised in your own best interest. Do not deviate from them. Welcome aboard. This publication marks the 25th anniversary of the Third World War, called the Quiet War, being conducted using subjective biological warfare fought with silent weapons. This book contains an introductory description of this war, its strategies, and its weaponry, May 1979, Number 74-1120, i.e. King Alpha. Wow. This is, in brief, what they're playing for you is. Are we clear? clear. Yeah. Now, the deal of it is where people keep thinking this issue that Drawley set forth is just some belief system is dangerously flawed. Because you must be competent to reclaim the estate because anyone who's not of a nation is expendable. Mm. They're trying to expend people that are valid. So you already know those who are invalid ain't got a chance. You can call them toast already. Just makes it easier food for them. But as you can see by the Europeans' own words, he's concerned with you being aware of what they really plan for you. So their job is to keep our people passive while this thing is carried out, again, you can go to the secret treaty of Verona and understand the dynamics of the priesthood, of the clergy, what their job is. And whereas you might think that they work for Jesus, they're really working for the Pope of Rome. Hmm. They're submitting people to the Pope of Rome and the people are deceived, making them think that they're delivering them to Jesus. Yep. But they don't know that J.C. is Julius Caesar. Oh, no. <laughs> you understand? And so the truth is not comfortable. Are we clear? Yeah. And we've got to try to get this information to our people um, and get past their vanity, their egos, their belief systems without thinking that we're attacking them or attacking the church. Because actually we're taking them to church. They've never been to church. Yes. Do you understand? So let's go to church real quick. <laughs> um, and therefore, this is why it's important for for you to know what things are and not what you thought they were. Are we clear? Yes. Are we clear? Clear. Sir. Crystal. Now, we're going to cut through the chase because of time constraint, and I really want you to comprehend this. I don't want you to just hear what I'm saying. I want you to really have a comprehension of what's going on. Are we clear? Clear. Don't reject things just because Europeans have them in their possession or looking at things just because they come from the European and throw the baby out of the bathwater. Are we clear? Clear. This symbol, listen to what I'm saying to you. This symbol right here is referred to loosely by scholars as the Coptic cross. Are we clear? Yes. Are we clear? Clear. Coptic cross. The Europeans, which are all Germanic, that means the germ tribe. Are we clear? Clear. That means the hybrid. Germ man is Frankenstein. Strain, Frankenstein. Or the Franks. Do you understand? So that you can put us all together. Do you understand? Those who studied the ancient Persians, Persia is what you call today now Iraq and Iran. 
Some of your oldest relics have been preserved there. Yes. Are we clear? Yes. There and in the Yucatan, are you clear? Yes. If the world has not shifted, you would not necessarily be thinking in the mental or the mental of over there. You're just thinking about other parts of here. That's how you need to think again. Think of the world as Mapamundi. So they give to you today map. Understand, the priesthood thinks Mapamundi. Mapamundi is the earth land giving in graphic form to deal with your longitude and your latitude principles of navigation. Are we clear? All right. The study of the ancient ones, the Germanic tribes studied our great circle. And our great circle would be balanced. You see that stem dealing with the lower gate? Right. All right? You would balance that. You see that? Huh? Right. Right, this, this is emphasis on what you call the lower gate or on the aggregate or on the physical. You can look the abstract and the physical. So understand when you're talking spiritual, you're really talking about breath, the art of breath or the activation of the pineal gland for the reception of knowledge, which is religion, which is gnosis. Philosophy is religion. Not, less, not spirituality. Spirituality is the art of breathing to prepare you to activate the cells to receive knowledge or to draw off the atmosphere or the Kashyyyk records. Are we clear? This glyph symbolizes the philosophies that are taught to you to be prepared to receive. This glyph, which is also called the earth glyph, are we clear? Mm -hmm. Clear. Taken from the ancient ones, so the Coptic cross is derived from, pay attention to write this down, <coughs> he cooked up. Cooked up. He cooked up is the proper name that all priests know that is not given to the masses. Hikupta is what, you all? Kemet. Egypt. Egypt. Kemet, Egypt. Do you understand? Wow. Now, do you all know where I'm getting ready to put these lines at, you all? Do you understand? In the Bible, this is where you get Peter. And this is Peter's relationship to what? The great circle. And what do the German tribes call the great circle in Germanic? Church. So you can see church is the symbol, not the building. Are we clear? You must comprehend this because we're talking at level now. We're not talking what the believers get. Are we clear? When this is comprehended, when you understand it, I'm going to use simple lines. You see the double lines because it actually represents mother father. Also represents the egg. So this represents duality. That's why you have the double lines. Do you understand? But we're going to use simple lines as single lines just for engineering purposes, all right? In this demonstration because all our time is limited, all right? All right. So when you see this, In engineering, this is called what? Mundane cross. Mundane. Mundane cross. Mundane 
cross. Mundane means earth. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. This is also what? Earth glyph. Are we clear? In engineering, you will see this used when it comes to the symbol of the earth. It's the great circle. Do you understand? When you see high priests do this, now notice this, pineal gland, P-turn, left, right arm, I rule the earth. Then this stands up and it becomes the parapet. This is the steeple to the church. That's right. Peter. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm telling you what. Tell the truth. Man. I'm giving you the attitude. I'm telling you what the priests know, what your imams know, that what your rabbis know, what your reverends know that the believers never get. And it was they're maintaining the power. Do you understand? Now the job of the dark priesthood is to remove the feminine principle. Do you understand? This will be demonstrated in Kabbalism as this is where you get alphabet. Do you understand? In Kabbalist, this means what? And this is what this is. And this is where you get which really means mother father. So for the dark priesthood, the, the rule, they must remove the matriarchal principle or the divine or the house of bread, which is Beth, or Bayah. Or you see a, a church or somebody say Beth Eel yes, yes. Temple, Beth yes. Eel yes. Chapel. Yes. Beth right. is the house of bread, is mother. Oh, okay. In the book of Gene, Isis, Genesis, you're talking about genetics. And all comes to mother. Therefore, you get the term in her written. Are we clear? Clear. For the priesthood to remove the inheritance from humanity, they have to hide the mother yes. or kill her off. Yes. This is where the church got all their wealth by accusing the wise women of destructing everything. And wise woman translated is which means wise woman so the church murdered them some of them they would take spoons and dig their eyes out until they confessed to the popes of Rome then the church would inherit their estate because the wealth was transferred to the woman this is the foundation of the church's wealth on the planet the murdering of women that's why no woman can be a priest not by divine law, by what the priesthood claim. Do you, because it's against the treaty of Rome. Because the Pope can't rule if woman gets, because by nature, woman is a ruler. Do, do, do you understand? The same way she runs a house, she runs government. You know, and us being mechanical, we do it like this, we go out and build stuff and knock stuff down. So, therefore, ill gives the law and we obey. That's ill and bad. You understand? So eel is divine, or the God principle, or the egg, the ovum. This is why nations are called mother, flags are called mother, your great seals are called mother, and even divine law is called mother nature. 
Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And from the mother nature or the consciousness of that connectity or the connection to the ancient is called the common law. That's why the common law is recognized only when you have knowledge of your ancient traditions and customs. And that's the only thing that can trump the ends legis. You see? And the ends legis is what? The corpse. You, you see the whole point? The 14th Amendment is the corpse. Ends legis. You see? Now keep in mind we're talking set off. So you've got to have a knowledge of history really to kind of understand the politics. Oh, anyway, you all support the House because you know we're trying to maintain the House, so platters, veggie platters for five noodles, so support the House. Five and ten. Is five and ten stores open again? <laughs> I know five and ten. <laughs> anyway, that's because we've got to, got to preserve the House because the house is in trouble, so the house is coming to help you help the house. All right, y'all? Because you already know you're eating good, too. Anyway, now keep this in mind. As you begin to have a comprehension of the great circle and understand German, the word German and church and circle are synonyms. So the word church means circle. They will add other meanings to it, but essentially it means it's reference to the circle or the glyph. You see? All right? Now, these points here that you see here are called cardinal points. This is where you get the position of cardinal in the, in the great circle or in the church. Are we clear? When these are broken down into these houses, You get Trinity. That's a Trinity on another level, not what they tell you, Father, you know, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Translation, Father, Son, the Adulterer, whatever. <laughs> you understand? These are broken down into, into threes. 30 degrees, are we clear? Yes. However, these are also broken down again, are we clear, into tens, are we clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's ten, ten, ten. Collectively, it constitutes what? 90 degrees, do you understand? Yes. Or square, now outside is 90 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. Inside is what? 45 degrees, which also constitutes nine. Thus, your square and your compass, right. the carpenter's tools. Now you see when they say Jesus was a carpenter? Yeah. 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 Now these degrees within these ten, as they come as helpers to the cardinal, this is where you get, these are called decanets. Decanets. This is where you get deacon in the church. Are we clear? clear? Your knowledge of this, or your beginning to comprehend how to use the energies, because Kabbalistically, all letters and numbers have qualities. Letters have both what you call glyph messages for activating the right side of the brain, also connecting the two hemispheres, upper and the lower. Activating the fine pineal gland, they have what you call vibrational qualities, so you must look at the glyphs also as a numbered value system. That's how Aleph Bet is to be looked at, alphabet. Are we clear? Are we clear? Yeah. Yeah. These principles must be taught to you to understand them, folks, because that's the foundation of them. And priests must know that in order to be the priests. Is never given to the masses so that you can't rule. Are we clear? Yes. When you have achieved it, a comprehension of this, of the three, three, threes, then you have, you see this symbol here. This becomes this. You see that? 
in all four corners. Then it becomes, at this point, when you see it like that, right? It becomes this. And now it is the master seal. Are we clear? When you have learned and you have become adept with this, which means when it becomes natural with you, are we clear? <coughs> You're talking about physical and abstract. Loosely, people say physical or spiritual. That's kind of a misnomer. Are we clear? Because yes. it's not like truth like that. Because yes. spirit is breath. Right. Right. So a lot of times people uh, equate that with the abstract. That's only because it's not physically seen. M A S M A S T E R. Master. Master still. M A S. You got the S master. Oh. Well, can't spell. M A S. M A S. We're gonna have to get on this. There you go. Yeah, get that right. Don't mess you all up, because I'm all messed up. Now, when you're here, you want to comprehend this? Yes. Huh? Yes. And you have a comprehension of the four gates. Are we clear? Yes. With the duality. This is also in, in Hermetic lessons. Uh, when you hear the term Hermes Trismegistus, mm -hmm. that means Hermes thrice great. They will, they, you'll hear that term in secret societies. That means having a, a, a consciousness of what this stuff is. Right? You got four gates, right? right? And three in each gate, right? Right. You got three and four is what? Seven. This is where you get this symbol. Because it you see this represents physical when you see it like this, right? Right. Right? Yes. Now notice what I'm getting ready to do, pay attention to this. Right? So now, these four gates become abstract. Then the second goes there. Are we clear? Now, it represents that the Gnosis, or the Gnostic, you have the knowledge of the Logos. Do you understand? Now, Look at your head, right? Two cavities constitute the ear. Right. Two cavities constitute the eye. Right. Two cavities constitute the nose. Right. And one cavity constitutes the mouth. Right. So it's the chamber of seven, right? So that's the chamber of seven. When you comprehend this, then this seven is removed and your head is placed where the seven is. Then it becomes a nimbus. And it's usually made gold, representing the sun. You see, sun, sun of God. You see? Then your head goes there. You don't see the bottom part because your head is there because you have achieved or you have risen. Excuse my semi-drawing. <laughs> and now becomes a nimbus or a glory. Now that becomes the crown. And that's symbolic for the highest of the highest priest. This is why you'll see in the old pictures, that's what that symbol is when you see that, that golden crown on the head of the symbol of Jesus. Yep. If you pay attention, even if they have other high priests, they may have a completed circle, but not with the openings. Mm -hmm. But you'll see the one that's on the head of Jesus will always have these openings, or at least symbols there, 
glorified that showed you those gates. Now you are the Logos. And this is what it means when Jesus says, as I am, all men shall be. What I have done, all men can do. And some of you will even do greater works than I have done, their degrees. Do you understand? So Jesus come to demonstrate love to man. Son of Mary, you see? The Son brings light. Now, on a short basis, you've just been taking the church. Now, as you can see, the masses go to those buildings, most have never been to church. But they don't know they haven't been to church. Because they think the building and the congregation is church. This is the church. It is the science of the universe. Now you see what lesson number one in your questionnaire, when it says, in the questionnaire, lesson number one. Because you gotta understand what Drawley is telling you, but unless you study, you wouldn't know. It says, right? Can to settle. Oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah, well, in Latin. <laughs> right? What's that mean? <laughs> Who made you? <coughs> what's the answer? Allah. Allah. You see? So who's Allah? He's a woman. Allah is a feminine term. Right. So the feminine principle is being brought back to the people to restore what Rome has taken apart in that little book. But if you're not taken to add it, you wouldn't know that that's what's being told you because you would take it just on the surface and it goes much deeper than that. That's why every temple must have a school. Are we clear? Yes. 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 Who is Allah? Allah is the father of the universe. What is the synonym for the word universe? Cosmo. Now you see the crescent and the star? Now you see cosmology, which is really the truth of religion. You see? Mm -hmm. The Bible says, I leave these signs for you. The sun, the moon, and the stars. Yes, it is. Then the priest tells you, you know, look at that star, all these stuff, the images. <laughs> While they are cardinals. Yes. On point. You see the point? I see the point. All right, so that's the church lesson. Made it clear. All right. Now, deal. From the foundation of them wanting to conquer the world is what really what the Spanish Inquisition is all about. And understand when they hide things in history under Spanish, they're saying Moorish. So the Spanish American War is really the Moorish American War. That's right. You understand? Well, look up the Spanish Inquisition, you will see that it's the Inquisition against the Moors and the Jews, both of which is you. And you'll see the Christian Black Codes, 1724, Doctrine of the State, first article, Christian Black Codes, is the expulsion of the Jews from the colony. Mm -hmm. You're the Jews. Mm -hmm. Though there ain't no J in Hebrew. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do, you un do you understand? Do you comprehend? Yes. So we're talking foundation, so now we're going to talk back, what is this set off? that we introduced to you. Their mission was to steal your gold and silver. Yes. That's why you have no money. Wow. But to fool you, they had to gradually create a system of illusion, thus color of law, thus colored people. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> right there, yeah, that's what yes. Therefore, they had to disguise the science Therefore, dogma in place of religion and color of law in place of jurisprudence. I'm just telling you so you understand why we keep insisting on getting you all together so that you can comprehend what we're telling you. So that you go save your families, save yourself, because they're going to try to get you all on the curb. Yeah, they work on me now. 
Keep in mind that mortgages, which means dead pledge, did not come about in the North Gate until 19 and 13. To counter no withdrawal. No Mortgages in this country did not exist before 1913. You not knowing that it's an attack weapon, agree or operate in it not knowing that it is designed for you to fail. Yes. Oh, go ahead, girl, sister. <laughs> That's the sister, yo. <laughs> Ain't no gorgeous? Anyway. So we're talking this because we already know that Rome is carrying out their plan to little by little squeeze you until you have no more transfers to the dead account. And then they are going to say that you didn't make payments and then foreclose on all your property. All based on the fraud from day one. Are we clear? Clear. So we want you to get to the capacity to set off so when it occurs, oh please, just discharge that friend. You can be paid. Never was paid. I think you were confused. I, I, I. You can't do that. I'm the heir. Now you see why they upset about everybody learning about who they are? Morris. Uh, that's right. You ain't done that more stuff. <laughs> that's why they upset. Because this is bigger than you would ever imagine. But if your comprehension is not there, you're ineffective. Point. They want to keep you incompetent to make you what? Not descendable, because you're talking estate. Not money. They came to steal your money under the Inquisition. The fiat is in place as a counterfeit measure to distract you from your estate. Are we clear? Clear. They created a system by which transfers to the account, which is closed, can be made to give the illusion of appearances of payment that never takes place. Thus, de donors. Are we clear? Whether you deal with mortgages or credits, etc., they're all de donors. Therefore, if you make a transfer of these greenies to them, when you're taking the statement of account, which it is and not a bill, it's a coupon. They're saying that you abandoned the coupon since you gave it to them. Then they go take it to the DTC and so called cash it. This is how the banks keep getting wealthy, all the people. If you put nothing in their hand but the signature and this stamp, it's a satisfaction of transfer on the estate with you being the authorized representative. That's why we say stamp those instruments front and back with this on all three sections, front and back, because they're going to endorse the back if you don't stamp it. That's right. Because they're checks. Do you understand? Yes. Logically, if you don't know what's going on, you bust your butt going to work to get some of these greenies yeah. to so-called pay, mm -hmm. and you just made an unlawful transaction. Mm -hmm. But they'll take it as a gift, since you? Yes. You, you, you comprehend? Yeah. Yeah. Comprehend. And then they can't demand, they can give me five dollars. Nope. Oh, I'll take that, but it ain't dollars, see? <laughs> So you take this as a gift and then write your all your thing. Well, they didn't pay, so I'll act as their trustee and I'll discharge it and then I'll present it to the DTC and, and so they give me back for the coupon. And then what they got is credits against your account that you don't do you have that's really against your estate, then it's still written off as debt. So you're still going in debt while you think you paid. So the so the natural person that gives them the greenbacks under the concept that they just paid, and they're just as in debt as the, the, the natural person that gave them absolutely nothing. They're equal on the paper. This is called the national debt. 
That's a trading company in New York. Mm -hmm. We're they all mortgages, all tickets when they you so called pay tickets and all that stuff goes through them. It's a transfer house. For the Inquisition Revenue Services under the Secret Treaty of Verona, which is disguised to you as the Internal Revenue Service. Wow. This is where you get them 1099s yes. and all that stuff for recoupment. Mm -hmm. um, so when they get these things from you, it's what we giving you 1099. They don't get that, do they? Mm -hmm. oh. Well, now you know why. So now we're trying to get you all, us competent, so that we can start operating this stuff correctly, although you shouldn't have to dance for that either. Right. You, 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 you understand where I'm coming from? Right. Um, so we're telling you what it is. This is why, like, a couple years ago when he was going to UCC, so I tell you, nationality is key. Um, because you're an heir. And don't leave your house. You understand? Know so now you charge them with kidnapping a whole bunch of stuff? Because nothing you did was willing. What they'll write on the paper that you abandoned. Then they claim your estate and then they be selling the estate again because if you weren't listed in the first place as an owner. They told you that. But they, if they show you the paper, they'll have you as a tenant. So you were sharecropping. Yeah. So they use the mortgage, which is dead pledge. The contract is dead, and you're the pledge. And then they convert the mortgage into a promissory note and have you sign it and say, you promise to pay anything they do to go on this venture. Okay. Then they sell a piece of it to others that's called an allonge. Mm -hmm. So then you got to start taking care of all these other people that's on your trail. Because <laughs> they're cutting your imaginary grass on your imaginary estate. That's what the deed of trust is. Is the trust position. You see the point? So they sell the deed of trust and your estate drags with it. Because you ain't claiming it. Do, do you see the point? So when they give you the deeds, what you want to do is claim the deed. Okay. Although they don't give it. Course, you ain't asked for it either. But you can't give it. What you get no, I'm giving you preliminary. Okay. We're not going into details on all this stuff. Okay. To tell you what's happening, you can figure the rest of it out yourself. This is why we give you peripheral information so that you can understand the family meaning that we're telling you ABC. We ain't arguing not having a spelling bee tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you understand what I'm saying? We're trying to make, give you to the point of comprehending what's really going on across the board as an aggregate form so that the different bodies of information that is given to you, you can categorize it. But understand, you're never transferring money. It's always your estate. Keep this in mind. Estate. Are we clear? Yes. Right? Right? Yes. Well and that's where they get the states from. It is our estate. Since Georgia. They've been converting your estates into the states. Their corpses disguising the real. In other words, they're displacing the real with the fake. Right. So if you understand what's going on, you must understand the real and the illusion. Now you understand what the Bible is talking about, the illusions of the world? Mm -hmm. That's what it means. There ain't no spooky devil hiding. Oh, devil behind the mm -hmm. See it now. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's the real and the fake. That which is real, that which is colored. Therefore, law and history goes together. Are we clear? Yes. Huh? Yes. Now, what takes place, I'll get you in a second. Get the brother Mike too. Don't start singing either. <laughs> anyway, I want me to sing. What really takes place all the time, all the time, are we clear? Whether you deal with mortgage, credit cards, any other instrument coming from them, you're dealing with transfers that are bookkeeping activities that go against the state, and they're always trained in all the corporate entities to deal with double bookkeeping. Are we clear? Yes. clear? yes. But ultimately, coming through the chase, it boils down to you 
claiming your estate and also having the capacity to even do so. That's right. To even have the capacity to make the claim to stand in law, you must be in your proper person. Mm -hmm. Questionary. How did the prophet, how did the Raleigh begin to uplift the North Americans? By teaching them to be themselves. By teaching them to be themselves. What happens in law when you are being yourselves? What is that called? Impropria persona. Impropria persona. What does that mean in Latin, in law? In one's possessive own proper person. See how simple that is? What, it's so simple in here, but most people, unless they really study, it would do like, oh, that's so interesting. I think they got it. Hey, uh, Taj, and you people need to know that they'll try to put this pro se thing on you. Pro se versus appropriate persona. And you don't want that pro se. That's in there. Prosecute. Don't, don't, don't say, you know. That's an admission of jurisdiction. If you go, yeah, they will try to tag you with that. You think, you know, don't, they want you to think that you're moving ahead on your own. No. Right. Mm-hmm. Moving ahead, which means you're moving the court, which means you admit to jurisdiction. Right. And then, of course, you come under the jurisdiction of the barristers, barristers of England with their branch here called the Bar Association, mm. who's an officer of the court and a bounty man. Mm. His job is to bring you into the venue and leave you. That's called leave. That's why you always lose. Wow. Because they're in partnership. Mm. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? All, 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 all attorneys are, their job is to turn you over. Right. Attorneys. You, you understand? Attorneys. And they're what? Conflict of interest. The magistrate, which is a magician. Right? <laughs> member of the Barristers of England. Prosecutor, member of Barristers of England. Yep. The lawyer that you think you got, which is what you're supposed to be. Exactly. Who's really an attorney. <laughs> member of the Barristers of England. And you and that triangulation come past the bar, your food in the cage. Yeah. What point do you think you were? Mm -hmm. Like putting three wolves together, call them chicken. Come on over here and, and make a play. Mm -hmm. And guess what it says? If, let's go to law, let's go to law. Very important concept. Did I hear over there singing? <laughs> is, is that sister singing? <laughs> or was she talking in the language over there? Inappropriate persona. Um, Inappropriate persona. Pay attention to this one. Inappropriate persona in one's own proper person. It is a rule in pleading that pleas to the jurisdiction of the court must, must, must be pled in appropriate persona. Because if pleaded by an attorney, they admit the jurisdiction as an attorney, as an officer of the court, and is presumed to have pled after having obtained leave, which admits the jurisdiction. That's law. So what happens when you hire an attorney, you think that you, you got this thing covered? Then you're going to turn around and think you're going to challenge jurisdiction? No, you better shut up. Because cardboard or corpse ain't supposed to talk. So as soon as you start talking, that's contemptuous. It's like going to a funeral. Anybody got some tea? <laughs> right? Fred ain't got no business talking. Because what? He's dead. Similar to more two. The corpse. Right? So let's go along. Similar to more two. Use and abuse him. So you gotta understand what's really taking place. So the deal over this is, is for us to break the illusion. Yes. 
so that you can begin, as we all must, to start actually going more to what you call the allodial side and away from the feudal. Y'all can turn that heat down because, I mean, we want it now. <laughs> Amen. Amen, Ra. You know, I know chilly for a minute. <laughs> Thank you. It works. Can't argue about that. Yeah, you turned it. <laughs> this is all similar or more twos, no to me. Similar similar or more twos, civilly dead, dead in the view of the law. The condition of one who has lost his civil rights and capacities and is accounted dead in law. This is what the Negro black and colors for, because once you're not in your proper person, yes. they can list you as a corpse. Yeah. This is why the Europeans put their family names on us and put us under what? The 14th Amendment, which creates the dead. Thus, the dead is animated to slay the living. This is what branding actually does in law. This is what the plans were. That's right, sister. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get, get around the mic in a minute. <laughs> you understand? Now, I'm telling you the truth. You just need to analyze this stuff and understand that this stuff actually operates in the political forum. And if you're not aware of it, you're walking through this minefield that was created by ignorance. This is how and why they can come to our communities and gentrify all the time. Because they get these people to they sign these promissory notes that they think is mortgages, and immediately within 72 hours, the mortgage is sold. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it becomes a promissory note. Yes. And your pledge, you think, oh, I got a house? No, your body's pledged. You're now share proper, officially. And you share probably working your butt, I'm working two jobs, and I have from my house. Mm, you no, know, it's your share property and your labor. Yeah. Do you understand? We're talking about what's really happening. You're pledged, and you thinking that you got you know what I'm an owner has a lodial title, which most people don't know a lodial, the word exists. Exactly. Never heard of it. Comprehend? Now, this is what I'm talking about. While we're learning the issues of administrative processes, and you're looking at uniform commercial codes, and keep in mind, a lot of Europeans are now being put out on the circuit to this kind of dismiss what we're telling people mm -hmm. and calling us gurus and stuff like that. And then they say, the really way you save yourself is you got to get back to Christ. You got to get back to Jesus. And then they'll start talking about the Israelite law, the Hebrew law. Well, they ain't going back to the Kabbalistic principle. They're still lying. They're still trying to sell you back into the, into the Christian church version given by King James, who was commissioned by the popes of Rome to alter the books. So don't get deceived. However, they, did, they are telling you half truths. So don't only ignore them, but mm, we're looking at what grain of salt. You understand? Because they're still Romans. What they're trying to do is still claim the estate. <clears throat> Give me such a mic. And, and then, oh, I forgot you. Keep first. Keep first. Go ahead. You got it's this uh, the, the Hebrew Israelite thing, and I don't know if you will. This is for people continue. that begin to get conscious. Right. However, without negative criticism, there's also miscomprehensions presented when they go to King James as a guidance. Right. Also, when you're talking to Hebrew, you're really talking the Hebrew. Yes. Right. You're talking about the great superdivider. When we talk about, is the distinction between Mapamunde and map. Map on Monday, when the earth before the shift, or what you call pan, right, right. before move and, and pan sunk, okay. mm -hmm. 
and before the White Nile became oceans. The white and blue Niles were once rivers. Now only the left is to, the, to the Nile is the Red River, which is called the Mississippi. Do you understand? Let me, let me put this explain to you. Come on up here. We're going to use mass again to show. Right? Come on, baby. Come on, my boy. We both were not. We just came Are you a singer too? No. <laughs> yes, you are. She knows some stuff. Well, anyhow. All right. So now we have family, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Come on, hold daddy's hand. Right? Now, she's little now, right? Same thing with Ebony, right? Same thing, right? Yes. Now when she grows up, right? Now this is the house, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now we're expanding, family's expanding, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when she grows up and she gets bigger, sometimes they leave, right? Yes. This is not the case. Step back, mama. This is called the Great Annexum Superdivere. Great Annexum Superdivere. This is the dividing of the land between Ham and Cush. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So Ham represents the father, Cush represents the son. But the son, but the matriarchy is really mother. <laughs> However, they use the terms father and son. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So now, you know what, baby? Mm -hmm. I know you cook, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. <laughs> anyway, you cook now, baby. <laughs> All right. So now, so India can take care of stuff herself, hook up stuff, right? Yeah. Common, right? Mm -hmm. So now, instead of mother, father, you understand? Growing up, daughter, and then daughter going to get her own house. Instead, father leaves the house to the daughter, crosses the river, oh, okay. and goes to the other side by authority of the great pharaohs of Egypt. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Chapter 47. Come on up back over here. Get a mic. Now, listen. That process is the dividing of it's the Great Surveying Act. The crossing of the river into the other part of the land is a demonstration of he who crossed the river. Ibri. Thus, Ebri, or what you call Hebrew. What you call today Jew. Those who cross the river. It's not a different people. Same people. It's an act. It's an action. Some people that get some of the information start taking it as an identity. It's not an identity. It's an action. Wow. So now that the father, you put this in this instance, instead of staying in the house and sending the daughter off to another part of the land, he chooses to leave, but he crosses a river before the separation of the land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those who cross the river are called the Ibri, the Hebrew. Wow. Israel is Isis, Amen Ra, Elohim. It is the culture, and it prefers to humanity at large. Please. Are you serious? So when people get some of the information, they start acting like it's different people or some kind of religion. It is neither. Wow. It's a demonstration of a surveying. Now, read chapter 47. That's that 47, is it? 47, all right. Oh, Egypt, capital dominion. Is that it right here? That's yeah. 48. Yeah, chapter 47. 48. You gotta make sure it's right, my, uh, after 10 and all, remember. Uh, <laughs> oh! Confusion. Oh, you got weakness, man. Yeah. Oh, Josh. Here you go. See? Okay. Chapter 47. Now, I want you to read it. India? Uh, the inhabitants of Africa. No, 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 no. I want her to read it with you. <laughs> now, listen, Mama. Now, I want you to see this. One, two, three, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to read all this, and I want you to pay attention 
And I want to show you that your estate is even in the circle seven. Wow. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. okay. Now, you understand what Joel Ali said? I want you to claim your name and your religion. But what he's giving you, he's really telling you your philosophy and your estate. And see your circle seven? That's right. See it? Yes. Yeah. Guess what? If you don't know your culture, you can't trump the ends legacy with the common law. That's right. Read, baby. All right? All right. Go ahead, Mom. The inhabitants of Africa are the descendants of ancient Canaanites from the land of Canaan. The old Kush and his family are the first inhabitants of Africa who came from the land of Canaan. His father, Ham, his family were a second. Then came the word Ethiopia, which means the dark, dark demarcation. There you go, demarcation line of the dominion of a maximum. See, the first demarcation two, means what? You're cramming off the land. It's not a people, it's a division doing super devere, dividing up the land. It's a surveying. Mm. The people you call. Ethiopia is Abyssinia. Mm -hmm. That's right. The first true right. and divine name of Africa. The dividing of the land between the Father and the Son. Say it again. The dividing of the land between the Father and the Son. Say it again. The dividing of the land between the Father and the Son. Keep on reading. The dominion of Cush, northeast and southeast Africa, and northwest and southwest was his father's dominion of Africa. Wow. Keep on reading. In later years, many of the brethren from Asia and the Holy Land joined them. Mm -hmm. The Moabites from the land of Moab, who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle and inhabit, it, inhabit Northwest Africa. They were the founders, I'm sorry, they were the founders and are the true possessors of the present Moroccan Empire. With their Canaanite, Hittites, and Amorite brethren, brethren who sojourned from the land of Cain seeking new homes. Their dominion and inhabitation extended from northeast, southwest Africa, across the Great Atlantis into the present North, South, and Central America, and also Mexico and the Atlantis Island. Now you see your estate? Read that last paragraph again. You don't need to go further. The dominion and inhabitation extended from northeast, southwest Africa, across the greatest, excuse me, Great Atlantis, even unto the present North, South, and Central America, and also Mex Mexico, Atlantis, Islands. Now do you understand George Washington's letter? Oh, magnificent. Friend. Do you understand George Washington's letter now that we read in the treaty book? It is high here. They're standing on Moorish dominions. Yes. Now do you understand what the treaty and the Constitution is for? You brought them into government. Mm -hmm. Now you understand that when when Obama went to Hikuta, or what you call Egypt, and he exposed to the world that the Constitution for the United States comes from Muslim law, mm -hmm. yes. and his wife triangulated, went to the Alhambra, the last stronghold of the Moors, mm -hmm. then they came back and they signed the rights of indigenous people for you to declare your nationality. Yes, they did. Right. Yes. Then he made sure yes. that when they was coming through the double doors, when they coming through the double doors, hold on, y'all. Show you how signals are sent, since because people sometimes keep missing this stuff, although it's in your face. Yeah. Then you see them. They come through the double doors, and they got the Moorish flag on the on the left biggest day in your face. Wearing that dress, eh? Read chapter forty-seven. It says what? Egypt. Capital Dominion of the Moroccan Empire right in your Holy Quran. Hikukta wow. wow. is really Egypt. Do you understand? Pass it around, pass it back. Are we clear? Yes. Then people say, ain't hey, no, done enough for black people. No, he's trying to get you out of the black. That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. That's why no matter what he does, they say, hmm. I don't care how many times you go to church, Obama, you Muslim. Because right, right. they know he knows the real history. That's right, that's right. Are we clear? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't look at it from an emotional belief position. They're talking politics. Yes, they They're talking estate. 
Because the things that he's doing is representing the gradual dissolution of their claim of forfeiture. He ain't helping us. Translation, you're killing the white supremacy thing, Fred. Don't do that. That's what they're really saying. That's what they really saying. You understand? Yeah. Hey, baby. You want to tell us something? No. <laughs> you know, I just want to come over here and just grab the girl and your pretty self. Yeah. I remember when you was a bump. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. Sister. Very pretty self. Look like her mom and her grandma. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Now, keep in mind, you all, keep in mind, when you're reading George Washington's letter, that's every once in a while, we'll read it to you to put you in your proper state of mind because it's difficult to get these people mentally reattached to this estate. This is also why we pass around once in a while the incorporation papers of the United States Corporation. It's a company distinguished from the land. Are we clear? Pure. Clear. And this is the mention. This is the point back to analysis. And we'll talk about this more clear and more clear and more clear. I'm not talking to you. That when the people are getting into uniform commercial codes, main, main, uh, keep in mind that the initial principle of that argument is European middle class that recognize the middle class as being dissolved. And so what they're trying to do is tell on their partner bosses, but not telling the whole story because they're not Americans. They're Europeans. We're the Al Moroccans. Al Morocco, corruption, Americans. We're what? Venus, the copper penny test. The paper bag test. 1828. Oh, yeah. Do <laughs> you understand? It, we ain't knocking them, but they ain't the heirs. Just because they talk, here, here's the copper penny test, right? So look, it's pure. There you go. Copper and There you go about copper. Copper gets black as your Now you understand your scar. And then also you understand with the North Gate celebration of the winter solstice. Right? With the winter solstice. Right? Make your New Year's resolution. Right? And with I, right? They'll do it like this. And then they'll put the star of Venus on top. And this is green and red. Now you understand the cherry tree? Yep. Symbolic. Then you understand the book of Jeremiah 10, where it says, don't chop down that tree and start dressing it up. Go on the Bible. Yes, yes. Yes. And it was, you don't kill like to call it like. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're actually celebrating your fall. So you don't dismiss this period of what you call Christmas. You understand? Because it's Christ Mass. <coughs> the rest the activation of the stem, medulla, pineal gland, that's what it symbolizes. However, you don't go killing trees. Now if you want a tree, take one with a ball of, 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 of dirt. If you want, if you want one. And so that when you finish the celebration, that you can put it back into the ground, but you don't take the life. You know, that's why I don't send people cut flowers. I'm going to give somebody a flower, I'm going to give them a living plant. That's right. In a pot. You understand? That? That's, what, that's what it means. But it's the, symbol, the symbolism is really the green and the red, and it's, cel it's still a celebration of you. And the gift giving is from St. Maurice, which will have a statue in the, in the courtyard in Germany, in Germany, and Saint Maurice is where they get the the chivalrous or the gift giving principles that they give to Saint Nicholas, that become uh, uh, Santa Claus. You you understand? 
So it's still your culture. How much does this thing about black people? Huh? Black people. Same thing. Yes, yeah, swarty peat. Swarty peat. Yes, yeah, swarty. Saint but you understand that the black, yeah, swarty. the black swarty. is not is not added into modern times as a point of stealing your birthright. Because in German, black actually means pale. Oh. So it's just like saying pale peat. See, that's why you must understand etymology. So when they're putting it in there, say National Association for the Advancement of Pale People. Go ahead, start funding from enslavement you want. Interesting. That's how they trick you in the language, because culture's in the language. That's why you really gotta, once you uh, begin to understand etymologically some of these fundamentals, and this is why you see Dooley, like even when we're talking, like Dooley said, Oh no, he, no, what that really means when he's doing that, he's really correcting you. Do you, you, you comprehend? Oh yes. Because culture is in the language, and so it is most important for us to be competent in our dispensations, and it's a constant learning. Understand that we, everybody has a piece where the spirit, where their mother made them to contribute. Find out what that is and bring this puzzle together. Do you understand? This is where the unity comes in. Because under each one of these houses, there's energies that are being projected on the earth. They come through the ankh, or the womb of woman, which that's why that ankh represents government. And so it's important for women to begin to really know who they are so that they can bring them already gnosis, or educate. Do you comprehend? And this is back to the culture. That's religion. The real philosophy, you see? And then mothers will have what? This is where they talk about the, the uh, virgin birth. What they really are symbolizing is the applied science of the number nine. Because on these angles, which is the angels, the mother measures when she conceives, and she would measure around the house or the mansion on, on, on your nine wombs. Because the moon governs the womb of woman. That's why she cycles 13 times. And then she would do a mathematical calculation of the energies that are put onto the chart and therefore teach the child in the womb so that when the child comes through the canal, do you understand that birth canal, which is the bottom of the aunt, the child comes educated, prepared for what they have to do. That's, that's applied science of number nine. That's what the Europeans, the DAR, are using to rule you with your own stuff. It's not, go ahead. Um, I've, I've been wanting to ask you this question a long time because the Bible, the Bible is what has encapsulated all of our people's minds. That's the mystery. Yes, but how, now, being, becoming conscious. All right, immediately before you go any further, write down Septuaginta. S. Septa means seven. We're back to seven, aren't we? Yeah. Huh? Yes. All right, hold on. I'm going right to right over top of this. You got that? You see that? No. You got to uh, stand, yeah. I'm going to put it on here. I can't. It doesn't work like that. It's a two piece. Put it right here. Put it right here. Put it right here. Put it right here. We've got to bring some seal up and repair this for now, listen. If, you know how like when we, we, we start talking about this, this whole mystery game where people are, are held under this? This is your first Bible. So if somebody is going to give you what you call any Bible instruction and they don't tell you about something to get they're already lying. However, if the average person doesn't know this, they also are aware that if the priesthood starts you off talking about the Bible and giving you a foundation, when this is the foundation, but this has another foundation before this, they're not telling you about the mom. 
This is how they remove you. The same system that they used here is the same system they use with the dispensation as I showed you with the coinage. See? Now see with the coinage, right? That's the money, right? Yes. Right? There's money, right? Gold and silver coin, right? Right. Then they give you what you would call a silver certificate. See that? Yeah. Silver or gold certificate, right? This is a draft or check. Mm, that check is to redeem the money. Mm -hmm. But they even removed this and then gave you a Federal Reserve note. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is totally fraud. And even this gold and silver certificate is not the money. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, right. so you're you're buried three times. Yes. Mm -hmm. The gold or the silver. Therefore, you must understand set off and while we're talking this stuff to you. You're not even allowed to handle money. You ain't paid your money. Yes, right. Then they're paid you either. <laughs> See, so this is even your argument, even when they're coming at you, the IRS or nothing, you know, go on into your account because you ain't paid. You know it comes paid. There's 192. What, what, what you talking about, Frank? You already know you can't demand that stuff from you. How come you demand? Now you understand what that letter I wrote to the IRS worked for it? Because it's comprehending this. It ain't bouncing through no UCCs, no UCC1, no nothing like that. It's understanding what the hell's going on and knowing who I am. Do you, you understand what I'm saying to you? But see, and if you comprehend this, what we want to do is stop getting our people got to bounce through all these hoops to claim a right that already exists with you before you was even born. How about that? It is killing the illusion. Right, right. But the priesthood is the one who maintained the illusion. That's why we got to move them out the way. But the people keep defending That's right. the familiars. Right. Not knowing they're familiars for the vampires. That's why we read Article 3 to the Secret Treaty of Verona because people don't know that these people are familiars. Because they think vampires are just in the movies. Hmm. Why do you think they do the blood ritual where they use the crackers yeah. and the wine as symbol for what they do in reality in secret down the chambers? Yeah. Eating people. Eating flesh wow. And drinking their blood. Wow. Because their job is to slay justice. Jesus means justice. Like Je Juali said, what does the word Jesus mean? Answer, Jesus means justice. Their job is to slay justice and hang him on the cross. Do you understand? But yet it is a takeoff of what takes place in the heavens. With the transition of the sun through its ecliptic. The procession of the sun. Which gives you your major holy days or sun days. Which represent all of your gates. This is why Easter, what? Esther in the Bible? Estarte, Aphrodite, you understand? <coughs> All mean the same thing, which means the star is now in the east. And that's when you see the crescent star in the eastern skies, and you see Venus comes down low. This is where you get the symbol of the crescent and the star. It's actually the workings of nature. Are we clear? So at this point, we're at the winter solstice. And when it enters, about the 21st, actually midday, almost the 22nd, you understand? It begins to, the sun goes to its highest elevation, right? Mm -hmm. And then, stand still. Lowest. Then after, huh? Lowest, lowest part of our this is going back to its highest elevation. It comes to its lowest elevation. Shortest day longest. Yeah, because that, that's, that's uh, no, that's when you're talking about the shortest and the longest. Right. Yeah, shortest and the longest. Right? And then it comes to a stop. The sun stands, stands still, and so they say now they put Jesus in the tomb for three days. Then the, 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 the brother, the white, white brotherhood, moves the stone, dilate. You know, that's the woman dilating, right? Three days, and, they, and he's alive! And he comes out the tomb, he's brought back to life, you understand? And then the sun starts his procession again, slowly going to his highest elevation. And while crossing, crossing the Holy Cross, then you deal with your, your, what? 
What's this? Equator. So equal days, equal nights, equinox. Yes. yes. And so this would be Easter. Or this is the Arian heresy that the popes were suppressing. Aries. Yes. This is the Nicene Council where they were altering the books. That's why they don't want you to know about Septuaginta. Because then that leads you to the Book of the Dead. The opening of the mouth by day, by night, ETC, ancient book of the dead, and the Vedas, the four Vedas, the Bhagavad Gita, ETC, all of the old books from which these books have their birth. Because yeah. Yeah. then you come out of darkness into light. Into light. Thank you, so how can somebody come to your house in your refrigerator? Hey, thanks, sis. You say, one work, y'all going to make yourself at home, right? Mm -hmm. Right? You're going to refrigerate. And they pour them up, they drink up all the milk, they ate all your cereal. Oh, yeah, she won't get with us. And they pour water in the milk. And, and they put it back in there, go like the whole gallon in there. And they go out and get everybody looking, you the best thing since sliced bread, and it's diluted. This is what they've done with the Bible. They've given the people a delusion, illusion, and taken it and presented it as if it's the foundation when it's absolutely derivative. Do you understand? Yes. Now, and so if you don't know its root, they will tell you this is heresy, heretics, heathens, right? And you reject this, and they're giving you a diluted version and telling you it's the foundation. When it was created by the popes of Rome, and that's what the Nicene Council is, 325 years after they murdered the Nazarene, and they created the mystery of the Trinity and start reversing everything. And, and, and oh, thanks for the correction, because when you're coming to your lowest elevation, which is the North Gate, see, because you want to you look at the evolution or the, the, the axis of the Earth around the Sun, and it's not so much... Um, a circle absolute as it is ovoid. Oh, now you understand ovary? Oh, do, do you understand? Oh, you're talking, yeah, you're talking about Eve, but evolution. Yeah. yeah, this is where you get the adjustments in the calendars. But the principle is 360 or full circle alpha and omega. But the compensation of the four gates is usually made with four days. Given and take, and what they'll do, they'll break off the moon movements like 30 days, 31, and they'll have 29 in February, which represents Aquarian age. So they make that the least when actually it's the most powerful. Yeah. Do, do you, do you, the whole point, when it's really 30, 30, 30. You see the whole point? That's right. yes. And so when you look at it, you're looking at epigee and apogee. So when you, so in, in that process, you want to look, if you look at it glyphically, the procession of the sun, and then you deal with the angles and look at the measurement of the radii in relationship to the earth in its relationship to the sun, and this is where you get your seasons. Come in. You understand? This is also where you get your push and pull of your tides. And this is where you get sometimes what they call your red moon yeah. or the orange moon mm -hmm. and stuff like that. This is when you deal with different levels of eclipses between the relationship of the moon to the earth and with the sun. And this is where, on certain cycles, where you get your tsunamis. Which is an exaggerated tide. That takes place naturally. Now, when you know religion, you prepare yourself accordingly because now you understand how, now you understand what ephemeritis is, or ephemeris, which is the true calendar, which is what you call sidereal time which is your actual mathematical measurements, and this is how prophecies are made. Because you're looking at the actual math of cause and effect. And then, so you see your, what you call your, your, your fiscal type calendars that are used in society are based more for political reasons, but are not sidereal. And they're also designed to keep the people off guard so that they don't understand the food systems, so that the priesthood can control the food systems. Mm -hmm. Are we clear? Yes. However, 
just for the common people can keep things pretty stable, they have an almanac. And the almanac, they'll put a, a reduced order of ephemerides in there so that people know when to plant their stem plants, uh, leaf plants, nut plants, fruit plants, according to the movements of the moon, and it'll give you charts. And keep in mind the Trinity, Trinity is very important, therefore you must know the, the North Gate, South Gate, East Gate, West Gate, and the energies in between, and they can project up and project back like a clock. That's why they call it the clock of destiny. Do you understand? And this calculation is done with a compass and a square. It's called the carpenter's tools. Do, do you understand? When you learn to move them or how to work them, that's the priesthood. Are we clear? Yeah. Yeah. So the real deal, the negative is when the knowledge is misused relative to abusing people who don't know it. Uh, wow. See. Are we clear? Yes. Clear. Now, and so the deal is they would measure, like say for instance, like certain plants according to the geographical geo earth, you know, measure on the earth and dealing with different soil, soils, dealing with the different salts. So you have 12 salts on the earth that are in harmony with the 12 moons or constellations or movements here. Although <coughs> it's governed by 13 cycles of the moon. So now you're looking at things different. So when you're looking at, what you, when you're, when you're looking at say, a Gregory calendar, you're looking at uh, uh, 13 moons. When you start dealing with the real science, you're dealing, I mean, you're looking at 12 moons. When, when you're looking at the real science, you're looking at 13 moons. And so there's a calculation for the priesthood, and then there's a calculation for the masses. The control comes in that gray area in between. Therefore, all of your high priests must be masons. They must have a Moorish fetish. Because they must know the math. You understand? So now that the sun is at its low period, so now, notice how I move this, right? So keep this in mind. Again, when you understand this, you're talking aggregate, right? Implied physical, right? right. right. Then when you be capable of understanding the abstract, the physical becomes abstract. You see? And that's where this, why this is abstract. But it relates to the same thing. You comprehend? Yeah. So this is the culture of the earth, and this is called Moorish science. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. And this is when you see them wearing the turban, either a jewel yes. or stone, mm -hmm. or not just a button. That's why it's there. And like we see when you turban you work with the pyramid, symbolizing the pioneer plane. Yes. That's why it's placed right there, representing the seat of David, yes. seat of Dawood. Right. And also, <laughs> if you look at it symbolically, <coughs> see how, like that, see that? Yes. And then the button right there. Awesome. All right, and then you see in some Asiatic countries, they'll put a dot right there. Yes. That means anointing my head with oil, mm -hmm. symbolically. You know what I'm saying? For males, like say for instance, if we went to um, accelerate, you know, the capacity of learning, then we uh, 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 be chashed for a while, check out the buns, but don't mess with them. <laughs> and then you use the semen as food to activate the final plan. That's, and don't think that's why the priests are celibate. They're celibate because the priests, because the popes didn't want the inheritance to go to women. Yeah. That's the real reason why the priests didn't have wives. Not because they wasn't bumping off the, the nuns, because there was no such thing as them not giving none. <laughs> you know? Is that the popes didn't yeah. want the, the, the wives yeah. to inherit the wealth that the church was amassing from murdering women. Yeah. You understand? So don't look at that as some holy roly, goody two shoes mission. It wasn't had nothing to do with all that, because they was checking out the buns. <laughs> <laughs> Are we clear? Yeah. So, Septuaginta, you see, if you can just give people some basics, 
it removes them from the mystery that the Bible has on them without them being angry at the book. Don't be angry at the book. But don't assume that you understand that book on the surface because you don't. But, and, and, and it doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's misrepresented, therefore creating deception. And it is the deception that creates the tripping, which means creates the blind. Therefore, the blind lead the blind. You both want to dish together. This is the problem that we have, are we? So it has to be taken back to its Kabbalistic form because those books are entirely Kabbalistic. What they call Jesus' teaching are entirely Kabbalistic, entirely. They call the teachings of Moses, they're entirely Kabbalistic. If you tell people that much, you've already given them some keys. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So now you want to look at the effigy and the apogee of the rotations of the earth around the sun, and at the same time balance that off with the effigy and the apogee of the moon's rotation around the earth at the same time. And this is where you get your 13, 12 cycle for your 2, 7, which is still 9 again, which is 13 times for the moon, 12 times for the sun. And this is where you get your older calendars or your more recent, um, say, watches, say 5,000 years ago, something like that, where the watches told for the uh, Venus, the earth, and the moon. And then when you go say 20,000 or more, then they had 19 dials. Mm. But we've fallen back so far that most people can't use their brain the way they used to. Mm. And so they, we, they can only calculate the moon and the sun. So the watch you have now is based on the moon and the, moon and, and the sun. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm. However, the ancient watches had 19 planets. Mm. And then the more recent had the sun, the moon, and Venus. But the people was kind of like, lunchy and like um so like you can get some clocks some of your first clocks they had three and four different dials on them you, you understand but as we as the church has made us more stagnant we're not using the parts of our brain and so when you're talking about the ascension or the real christ degree the christ degree represents this is where you get the symbol of rush or the symbol like this, almost like an R backwards, yeah. right? In the Hebrew or Kabbalistic alphabet, what they call the Hebrew alphabet is really Kabbalistic alphabet. Ah, Do you understand? This is why all priests must study Hebrew to understand the Bible. Yes. Because they're Kabbalistic. I'm just telling you what it is. So if they say Hebrew, it's saying the Kabbalistic. Kabbalah. Even when they make their highs and they round the ka ba. You, 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 you gotta understand the cue. See, so you gotta understand this stuff. Uh, more or less what is what the priesthood have to free the people from the priesthood, because the priesthood did this to everybody. This is why they created the mythical devil. Because with the mythical devil, they created a myth and everybody's under control of the devil. And the devil took the peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> I, I had lunch. I was, y'all just been working all day, coming here. I'm hungry. Y'all and ate up all the peanut butter sandwiches. Everybody go. <laughs> Does anybody see any peanut butter sandwiches in the refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> Death will get it. <coughs> oh, why did you just say so? Right? That's acceptable. That's why belief comes into place, because belief is never challenged. I gave you 20 notes to go get another jar of peanut butter. You brought me back two cents of change. It's a matter of interpretation. <laughs> but what, what, what peanut butter didn't cost 1990? No question, word of God. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you tell me? <laughs> Save me all trouble. And this is pretty much what they do. And they've gotten away with it. Yes. You understand? Then you, then you understand what I'm saying? But once you understand the rules, nobody can play you anymore. Right. Because the masses are held under the mystery of the devil. That was made up by the priesthood. Because remember, the power of the priesthood is to reverse everything. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So this is where you get... They take all that lived, right? And then reverse it. 
Devil. And they got the world under control. <laughs> Remember, the power of the priesthood is to reverse everything. That's what creates the illusion. That's why they will show you, even symbolically, they'll show you in, in um, like in movies, right? Where the vampire always at? Like it's snowing outside, right? It's snowing and stuff. And hey, listen. Yeah, we're going to get home, man. Oh, it's comes more and more, and the wind's blowing, drifts and everything, and then even the snow plows get stuck on the side of the road. Now you can sit in your car if you want to, or you can try to make it through that snow. You better find some place to go so we stop at the church, right? <laughs> right? The doors are always open because you never close them. That's right. Right? So you come to church and everything, and everybody cool. Man, <laughs> we're here and stuff. Thank you, Jesus. Right? Statues stand up there all too. <laughs> right? And oh, they just Jesus, everything is cool and all stuff. Candles are all over the place. Oh, it's warm too. <laughs> then the wind blows and blows all the candles out. What the heck? Then everybody said, well, let's hold together, man, because it's kind of rough, man. As soon as we get warm, candles all went out. You hear something going, <laughs> right? You hear something? No, that's the wind blowing outside, right? You came in, G was standing like this. Right? And all of a sudden he's standing like this. Wait a minute, what? Why didn't she stand like this? No, man, you ain't paying attention, man. That's the Lord. He can do anything he wants to do, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden, oh, man, the light's back on. No, it's only over there. We're behind the statue. Then this light comes behind the statue. And these wings come up all dark and stuff. The vampire's always in the church. <laughs> They tell you all the time. <laughs> they tell you all the time. And blood comes all out of you. You don't face. See you who friendly no more. Come on. Let's go. It's going out there. I don't care. Let's go. And the doors go boom. They don't even hide it. Then you hear a stump come up steps like this. <laughs> some come up down steps? Go see! It's always a European woman who goes to steps with heels on. <laughs> yeah, I'll go down there and see what's down there. Get me a match. <laughs> then you hear her running up. She always trips. He eats her first. <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy comes out of Cape and all vampire. In other words, it's just movies, but they're telling you. They yes. don't even hide there. So they know that we are so asleep. That they don't even hide the doo doo. Serious. No, I'm telling you. My fire vampire, he's in the steeple or the basement. Either one, up or down, either way the elevator goes, you got it. Don't go around to the basement. That's usually not the best place to go. You know, if things start getting rickety, I ain't going outside, it's cold. Don't go in the basement. Don't go in the basement. You know. Now, other point. Right. So, your boy comes up from the basement, right? Yeah, you. Can you give him some lotion? His skin was kind of dry. That's some lotion or something. Boy, some lotion. He come up all friendly and all this stuff. I'm trying to see if y'all got turtlenecks on, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> right? So, everybody cool. And he's talking all friendly. But, uh, he looks like friendly to me. Everybody wants to sit down and get all relaxed and all this stuff. Don't go to sleep. And then they walk and say, oh, let me offer you to the chambers. Oh, he's quite friendly. Let's go ahead. Y'all want some soup? Yeah. yeah! Right? Crackers and wine? Crack. Crackers and wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? And you go down here, and you're all chilling, you're walking down the hall and everything. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Yeah, because... Then you notice... Yeah. What, well, Fred? I don't see you in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> they be telling you all the time. You in the mirror, Freddie ain't in the mirror. 
Why do you stand right there? What? You're going to have soup down the chambers. Don't, don't go. Jenny Craig, do it. They're telling you all the time. This is what I'm saying to you. They do it in movies and everything, but they're actually telling you that they are what? They're vampires. That's why you want just to go up here and go into the chamber and you walk behind the pool pit. <coughs> That's why they stand behind a pool pit. They don't even hide that either. Do they? No, no, not at all. So that's the illusion. And we must give, give, them, the, give them the mic. Just, just to speak on that, just a quick question. I was yeah. at a funeral. Get the mic. Here you go. Just a quick question. Yeah, I was at a funeral uh, about a month ago. And uh, my, my friend's grandfather passed. And uh, it was a Catholic church in Germantown. Nice church from the outside. Yeah. Uh, when I went in there, it literally looked like a dungeon. <laughs> like, like a dungeon that you see in movies when they throw the prisoners and they have to change. Uh -huh. the windows were so small. Um, no air was flowing in or at all. Yeah, it gave the whole vibe. And I noticed another thing. Uh, my question is, why do they have gargoyles, like monsters all over the... Uh, gargoyles. <laughs> yeah. They were or I mean, they represent guardians. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and it actually represents what you call your lower abdomen body forms, or the, your car, your, the um, carnal degrees. Now, when you're dealing with what you call your seven le levels of the body, you know, you, the eighth level is represented uh, uh, as uh, that was not originally here. That was created. And that's when you're dealing with the Enoch story type stuff, yeah. or the aliens coming in. And when you're developing, you don't add that. So you got to come to know yourself so you can know which body forms or level that you are. Because you become conscious at the heart degree. This is where you get the Dugard symbol, 45 degrees, hand on the heart. Because your heart chakra. Because at that point, remember you haven't arrived, but you begin to see. You're able to see the lower and the upper. This is called the Christ degree. This is why the symbol that they have of what's called Krishna, or he burns, or the activation of the fire in the head, which is the reason religion exists at all. For you to realign or realign yourself with your cell memories, which is where your forefathers are in your cells. Your brain is not just here, it's actually in your aura or in that red, red garment that, that surrounds your body that can't be ripped. You understand? And that's why they gotta always convince you to let them in because they can't get in unless you let them. That's why it's always said to you, you know, in reverse, devil has no power except what you give him. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it means. It means the power always remains with you. Mm -hmm. Means that you must make, don't make pacts with him, man. Mm -hmm. It's also why you must learn contract law. Because everything outside you is operating on contracts. This is where the non-disclosure is with these implied contracts of the 14th Amendment saying that you're a U.S. citizen when you never could be. And then get you to agree and get some marching overseers to get you to agree to be a person of color, thinking that you're being Afrocentrically accept accelerating. <laughs> and soon as you agree, here comes the Christian Black Codes of 1724 to destroy your family. Came directly from the church from the high priesthood. You understand? Yeah. This is where the 14th Amendment comes in, where they closed the Freedmen's Bureau, while it was open only three years. Then they squandered the finance, and then they met on the weekend, set up the artificial 14th Amendment to co cover up the nobility clause of the 13th, and created the corpse, the artificial person, where they needed some marching preacher guys to get you all to agree that you was people of color. And once they got that, you became what? Not your proper person? And then it comes the ends legus, or the straw man. This is why they symbolize it in the Wizard of Oz, where they have the Lion of Judah. You understand? Who lost his courage. And he became the straw man, which is the 14th Amendment. And then they cribbed all industry, which is the Ten Man. And then the Yellow Brick Road is the Zodiac Constitution. The Emerald City is the green star of Venus, 
which is Venus. You know what I'm saying? The Wizard of Oz is the mystery system. Do you understand? And then the dog represents dogma as God spelled backwards. And then he pulls the curtain to reveal the fraud. And then it's over. And keep in mind, the monkeys, Negro, Yabel, Arabo, is, is the hybrid, and everybody's scared. Then the wicked, the witch, uh, the wicked of the east, and the witch of the east and the west. You see, higher self, lower self. You understand the feminine principle. You understand then when the, uh, um, the house falls, the house, house. In my father's mansion, there are many houses. In my father's house, there are many mansions. You understand what I'm saying? And then, then the, the witch says, "Hey, Doc, like them kicks?" She said, "Yeah, they're really shiny and stuff." I'm just going to get them. Oh, no. <laughs> so she says, no. Ching. Oh. Total ones, girl. So, remember she says, right? She says, Doc, you want to go home? She said, oh, you just got to go see your house. Tap your heels together three times. You know what they Jewels. Jew. Jewels. Red, woo, red, ruby slippers. All you had to do was tap them together. Three times. Guess what, Doc? You was home all the time. You just bumped your head. Ooh. Now you see the ritual of masonry, jubala, jubalo, jubalong, the three ruffians strike you in the head. The grand architect, high ram of Biff. You see, in really, really, really religious controversy in the um in the literature. No drive these literature. Religious controversy, and he says, just as the sun stands at high noon, the people cannot see. High noon, high ram, ram, lamb of God, Aries. You see? Yeah. Talking to you. It's got to know what you're looking at. Yeah. Dorothy. Because you was home all the time. You just, aren't you here? Yeah. All the castles are right now. You see? Now, so the mystery, the reversal, you see, because the priesthood always reverses things, you know, you see, look, right, set, right, 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 reverse it, right, right, dogma, right, and you see your button, master astrologer, Moorish American, see, so dogma, is counterfeit for religion. Your fiat is based on blind faith, which is counterfeit against the money. Color of law is counterfeit against the law. We're going to have to close out, you all. Anyway, Dr. Nyla, I know you because you be working so hard, and she be really, sis be working. Yes. She be doing it. And I know you're tired and everything, but you know, usually she does kind of like give us a little bit of reward. Because if she's writing again, not that she ever stopped. But anyway, can you give us one, even as off the top of your head, and you now you're gonna make your move this time. Because you look warm and I wanna get on the cook too. <laughs> Just give us one. Give, give us one. Oh yeah, you better go Yeah, give us one. She said one. Oh two. Or oh, three. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, yes. Dr. Nyla Gillum, undercover boy, undercover writer. She was already in her womb. Can you share some with us? She always has some goodies for us, y'all. So y'all keep this in mind. Oh. Uh, the circle seven the seven is